Hey everybody, welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Skyblazer, courtesy of Nufi Banda. Uh, I think we'll go this way first. The Falls of Torment. Save state, of course! I did not like that name. Now you can get out of the water and it's not lethal, but it's difficult until you find a wall to scale on. That's why I prefer to stay on the logs. And I don't want the fish gnawing on me. Thank you very much. Lair of Karyon. Hmm, let's check it out. Oh no. It's this place, isn't it? In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. This is a level that's a big underwater maze. You can get so lost so easily, it's not even fucking fit. Not to mention you have to deal with a constant wave of enemies that'll just get in your way and just make your life a living hell. And they will. Trust me. Uh, well, at least we know which way is one way. But there are still certain areas that are more maze-like. I only took one hit and I lost that much damage. Okay, good, I got it all back. I did not mean to hit that switch, but okay. It might benefit. You never know. I don't think it did. It took me somewhere I need to be. And it continues. Damn it, you Blastoise ripoff. Die! No, was this something I had to do? Hmm. Well, it can take me up here. No, it's a, it's a dead end. I'm gonna try going up. Try this way. Something has to work. I mean, I'm eventually gonna find my way out of this crap hole. What did that switch do that was any different? Oh man, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Where am I supposed to go? I'm not going this way, let's just take you back. Oh, wait a minute. Ha! Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I can go down this way. Is it necessary? I wonder. That's, that's not the right spot. There's another way. It's a little bit lower, I believe. Did I trick the right switch, I wonder? Ow, stop it! Stop poking me! <laughs> oh, I die here! What if I flip that switch again? Uh, is it possible to escape here? Oh, yes it is. Uh, let's say stay here. Just see what's up here first. Uh, 
let's go backwards. Ah! Yeah, so I'm staying standing here a couple more times because it's a fucking maze and I don't want to get lost! Oh! This is what I needed! Uh, can I still get up there? I don't think I can. I think I need to flip that switch first. That's what I needed. Oh, boss time! I think we'll try the Starfire. Okay, those piranhas are really gonna be a bitch. But there is a trick to actually take care of these four pods that you need to destroy in order to beat the boss. And it involves trapping the fish. Watch this, watch this. Look at this. Uh oh. Well, I trapped like a three out of four. I mean, that's not too bad. But you got the general gist of what you're supposed to do to make this boss battle a little bit easier. Like just a tad. Okay, as long as the piranhas are staying right there, you won't have any problems. You gotta trap them like outside the wall. If you can do that, then you won't have to worry about any interference. As far as I know, they're trapped. That means I can keep focusing on this area like one at a time. Whoa! Whoa! Get away from me! I am not fish food! Eh, 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 eh. Oh man. I wish I had more magic. Wait, so get some. Oh, wait, it was too late. Oh, I'm not worried about magic now because I pretty much still got this boss on the ropes. All I have to do is keep alternating. There we go. Now it's over. Spontaneous explosions for the win! Ooh, and I gained time stop. Wait a minute, since when was I fighting Flashman for Mega Man 2? What the hell? Anyways, let's just go to the desert area. The sand rivers of Shyral. Sounds dangerous. Looks dangerous too. Looks Super Mario Bros. 2 esque. Uh oh. This one requires a little bit of timing and patience. I think the Comet Flash will be of great use here. Anything that helped me survive. Yeah! I passed a lot of platforming because of that. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and on the next part, I will be going to the left and go to the wind area. See ya!